Morning, everybody. Mark at Mad Mowing. Just wanted to uh, do a little video here <clears throat> this morning of uh, a perfect opportunity to show people why they might have weeds along their curbs, sidewalks, around the edges of their house, any objects in the yard. Now, as you can see, there's snow on the ground. It's Monday morning at about 8.30. Friday, Saturday, we had 10 to 12 inches of snow. And it's been 50 degrees for the last couple days. And the stuff's starting to melt. Well, I just felt like this was a great time to show people about the weeds in the yard on the curbs and things like that. So let me show you here might even seen actually a little bit let me go over here kind of show you a far away view you can see back here how it's melting even on their sidewalk it's melting if I can get my finger in the right spot they didn't do anything to their driveway or their sidewalk you see how it's melting along the sides it's the transfer of heat from the Sun even on my sidewalk here. See how it's melting? Melting down through here. That's the transfer of heat. When the sun hits the sidewalk, it transfers that heat. I'm getting the sun so you can see me a little bit better. It's the transfer of heat. Um, that's why it's key not to trim the edge of your sidewalk, the grass at the edge of the sidewalk, down as low as you can go. It helps the grass, helps the weeds from growing, everything else, if you keep it as tall as you can. You know, don't weed eat it down to nothing. It, that'll help I mean I'm just rambling on here but I just I seen that and I was like man that transfer of heat and it's been 50 degrees the last few days after this 10 to 12 inches of snow but like I said that Sun comes out that radiant heat you know make it make your grass like like a radiator on your car engine it, it the longer that blade of grass the better it can disperse that heat and keep weeds from growing. Because the sunlight will hit it. Look at that. Found a dime. I'm rich. <laughs> Must have been when one of the kids got out of the car, dropped a dime out of their pocket or something. But um, back to it. What am I saying? The radiator. Make the grass blade like a radiator. It's got to get rid of that heat. The longer the grass blade, the better it can disperse that heat and not get burnt up. Plus the sun hitting the edge, you know, it, if it's short, if your grass blade is short, it'll get to the dirt, you know, it, not just against your sidewalk, but the trees. If your grass goes all the way up to the edge of your house, you know, your house is gonna radiate that heat out into the ground and the grass, it'll just burn it up. I guess that's enough for me just man late March 10 to 12 inches of snow I was pushing snow all night long and the following day I just I'm ready to get the season going all right that that's enough see everybody on the next one